Hi, my name is Norm Hall. I'm with the R.L. Dutman Company. And this is a video on setting the pump speed after the balance contractor has proportionally balanced the system. And we can identify the pump overheading using a triple duty valve and the differential pressure across it. This is part of the R.L. Dutman Monday Morning Minute series, and specifically this series um, is a group of articles that started on May 25th and will run all the way through June 15th. So once the proportional balance is completed, we're going to have a throttling across the balance valve on the discharge of the pump. What we want to do is identify how much pressure drops across there that we will reduce by reducing the speed on the pump and then opening up that valve before we leave the job. So we're going to go through this step by step and uh, use an example. So our example system has 1,000 115 GPM at 80 feet. That was the scheduled flow rate of this pump at 1770 RPM. The balance contractor has completed his balance and we now have a throttled triple duty valve on the discharge of the pump. We're using an 8 inch straight pattern full port triple duty valve which was provided at the job site and the balance contractor reads it and when we have throttled back to 1,115 1, GPM, we have 13.4 PSI or 31 feet across the valve. Our next step is to look at the submittal and identify what the pressure drop would be at the design flow rate if that triple duty valve was wide open. In this case, about three feet. We could have also used the Bell & Gossett electronic system sizer, entered the CV of that valve, which was 1,085, entered the flow rate we wanted, and we would find that the pressure difference at full open would be 2.4 feet, pretty close to our 3 feet. So we've got 31 feet across this valve and we only need three feet across it when it's full open. So 31 minus 3 is 28 feet, and that is the difference that we can now reduce the scheduled pump head by. So we're going to take our 80 feet minus the 28 feet, and the new design condition will be 1,115 GPM at 52 feet. Next, we go into the Bell & Gossett ESP system wise program or the submittal and we identify the pump that we are currently reading we can take a look at the variable speed pump curves this particular one has a lot more than you may see uh, in the June 15th Monday morning minute we'll spend a little bit of time showing how we came up with all these speeds but meanwhile 1,115 GPM at 52 feet lands us on an impeller, excuse me, a speed curve, and that speed curve is 1550 RPM. That is exactly what we're going to set the drive for and then take another set of readings. Thank you very much.